everybody, it's your girl, the K-pop Cougar, Rawr. and welcome back to my channel. Um, I decided that I would attempt to not look thrown away and busted on this video, so she threw on some hair. I did something to my face to make it kind of look like I tried, but the more I'm sitting here, she looks her usual crazy self, so it's fine you like my shirt my sister got it for me for christmas okay Whew. can't leave back like that too old it hurts my back but anyway i am back to do another round of reactions um i was on twitter earlier and it's just you ever just have to take a break from twitter or any type of social media for your own sanity because of just the things that are trending sorry if you heard that noise i'm fostering a cat and so she's so skittish she'll like hide under my bed but then she comes out and so now she's out and she's meowing hey girl hey girl are you going to interrupt my video okay so if you hear her meowing plus the people stomping around upstairs it's fine it's perfectly fine so yeah um, but what I was saying was, I, it's just the stuff that's like happening and people talking about toxic fandoms, which I know that that's a thing. And then the whole thing with JK Rowling and it's just like, you're really ruining like something that really means a lot to a lot of people because Harry Potter is something that I really, 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 really love. And it's just like how... How do I still love Harry Potter and still want that to be a part of me? But at the same time, if you do, people are like, well, you support trash J.K. Rowling. It's like, no, I don't necessarily support what she believes in. But that doesn't mean that I love the stories any less. Does that make sense? Y'all let me know in the comments if y'all be having these, these type struggles too. But anyway, that's not what you came for. <laughs> you came for me to react to Ace's latest video. Sorry for me going off on that little tangent. But uh, yeah, Favorite Boys, or I think it's also it's like Goblin is the other name or what it translates um, in Korean to, uh, which I don't know how that we get Favorite Boys out of that. But okay, that's cool. Um, but yeah, the teasers for this, they're, they're looking a little historical, a little um, uh, looking very beautiful. Um, so we're going to see where they go with this. Uh, I, 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 I don't know if I'm ready or not. We shall see. <laughs> okay, here we go. If you're ready, let's go. Oh, snap. Everybody company got an intro now. <laughs> Your company better get an intro. Turn me this punk one, BK. Okay, something like this. Welcome to the jungle. Thank you for telling me their names. Cause all I knew was BK and Wow. I know there's a June, but I don't know which one June is. Ooh, come on, those rings. He can't have abs. It's like have leisure wear meets Hanbok. <laughs> I love how they like, there's like no gender with clothing for them either. They kind of stick to the same color scheme. They do a lot of white, black, and red. I noticed that from undercover. They look like anime characters. 
Oh, okay. What martial arts? What he just did? Even though I don't know all of their names, Wow is like the one I'm drawn to. And then BK, that's why I probably know their names. Oh, that's June. Okay. Their choreo is always so like high energy. Historical K drama. <laughs> what sci-fi fantasy K drama? Yes, Ben. Thunder. Okay. All right. All right. You could have warned me about the thunder. Could have warned me about the thunder. <laughs> All righty then, Ace. <laughs> That's how you have a comeback. Uh, I've only ever reacted to one Ace song on my channel so far, and that was Undercover. I'll leave it in the card above. Um, I have been meaning to react to more of Ace's stuff. Um, I definitely know that I, I know it was like Cactus and Take Me Higher, I think. There's like a few that I have saved to react to um, Ace so I can somewhat be caught up on them. So unfortunately, like I said, that's why I really don't know all of the guys names um like i said i definitely know who dk dk i definitely know who bk and wow are like i said i knew there was a june i just didn't know which one june was um but yeah uh, uh, uh. that was giving me all historical fantasy k drama vibes um i love like i said how they kind of blended like the traditional looking hanbox but they kind of made it almost kind of look like tracksuits <laughs> That's cool. You better make a whole bottle look like a tracksuit and it would have like different elements of traditional Korean wear that they would mix in with regular like modern wear. So that was really cool. Colorfuls were beautiful. Like I said, they kind of have a theme uh, from what I've noticed from Undercover. They, they do a lot of black, a lot of white, a lot of red. Um, I know that they also are known for they are... I don't, I don't, I don't want to say gender fluid. Their clothing is very genderless. Like they don't... Uh, they'll wear something feminine and they'll wear something masculine like they'll mix the two together they have no qualms <laughs> about that so I think Ace is a really cool group um, so I definitely will be doing more reactions to their stuff fee five full hummers it's just a lot of things working against me today but yeah like I said I definitely will be reacting to more of their stuff so please stay tuned for that um, if you enjoyed Ace's latest comeback for Goblin slash Favorite Boys and you enjoyed my music video reaction give your girl a thumbs up below. Please subscribe because I want friends and lots and lots of friends and click the bell so you know when I upload my shit. The original link to this video will be in the description box below and you should share my video. Appreciate you cuz. And until next time I'm your girl the K-pop cooter. Peace.